Good evening, good evening, and welcome to the show. Now, sometimes we experience life at a rate of several WTFs per hour, like poor Vuyom Voko. <laughs> Better now, Minister. Can you hear me? <laughs> Bang! <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you for the laughter, courtesy of Men's Not Barry Rue on Twitter. Now, this is the same guy, guys. This same guy, this Buyo, is the same guy we watched being robbed on live television a while ago. I think he needs to burn in pep because every time he's on TV, it seems like his ancestors are looking the other way, Shane. <laughs> well, in other news, the Game of Thrones on-screen lovers, Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie, tied the knot over the weekend. Wow! So these guys, Vajas Tokoko spanning. They got to make out at work and excuse their foofling for work. And I'll bet you they even saved so much money going on dates, ne? Because their dates were happening in the canteen. Plus, I'm sure Kit Harrington even proposed with a fake ring from the props department. Oh, such a beautiful love story, though, hey? It's so beautiful that I'm never, ever letting my husband play someone's love interest on TV ever again. And speaking of beautiful stories, my new BFF, rapper AKA, um, had this clap back at Shane Eagle after his response to AKA's tweet this weekend. Uh, AKA posted this. He said, I want all artists to take note. You don't need to sign a deal with a major to make your dreams come true and handle business. We did this independently with an independent distributor. Ah, Shane Eagle got her papa, who was discovered on AKA's hip hop talent show, then posted, F out of here, you been signed. <laughs> which then sparked a tirade from AKA, whose blood was clearly touched by the young rapper. Swear did they touch my Anyway, it was truly a sight to behold, but our favorite response was this one. Cease, man. These lighties are disrespectful. That's why I keep smacking them. You smack them like this, like this. I know how he smacks them. Yeah, yeah, as we know those smacks. Smacks like that, they'll definitely make them wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> now, someone else who seems to need a wake-up call and to smell the fresh coffee is Arts and Culture Minister Natim Tetra. For those of you who are still catching up with this story, ne? the cast and crew of a period SABC series in the works, Uselwa, have reportedly not been paid for weeks as funds have been allegedly embezzled by the producers. Now, this story has been doing the rounds on all social media and the minister has been asked to comment, but dollar or comment we're still waiting he has instead seemingly commented on every other issue concerning uh, concerning the arts and culture except this one uh, minister please live up to your name nati we are here and we want to know uguti nini about this matter please anywho Tonight, we're going to tether with two hot comedians, the legendary Barry Hilton and Skulk Poseidon Hoda in the house. But first, Glenn, what's the hashtag WTF of the day? Well, good evening. Happy Tuesday. It's World Cup fever, and we're going to stick with the World Cup for tonight's WTF of the day. It's way in on the footage. Can we just talk about this revolution of video assistant referee technology used in the World Cup in Russia? Gone are the days of match fixing, there's no cheating refs, but let's be real, don't you think that this technology should, it's essential that it's used in the bedroom. Come on, because fellas, no, honestly guys, wouldn't you like it if uh, it, it's important to know if your girl's faking the orgasm or not? You see, so after the deed is done, the referee walks in and he goes, and then he goes, is that not right to me? No, it's not right, then it's more than... Oh, wow. Anyway, moving swiftly along, please help me welcome our first guest. He's an actor, comedian, and a cousin, XA. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody's favorite cousin, Barry Hilton. <laughs> There we go. Oh, there we go. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Like a, thank you. Really <laughs> cool. Fantastic. 
And Glenn, what is Barry drinking? So I don't know if a lot of people knew, know this, but, but uh, before comedy, Barry was in fact an electrician. So if ESCOM strikes, we are under control. But I'm not ACDC. Not ACDC. <laughs> But uh, he also, not only does he generate uh, electricity, but he also generates a lot of material. So I've named this drink after Barry, and I'm going to call it the generator. Nice. So okay, enjoy well. it. It's, it's, it's translucent, and it's meant to elude to wow. light. Drink? Yeah. No, oh, to light up our lights. Yeah. And it looks like the bottle stopped on down it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So Barry the has to down two tequila shots okay. of or lemon juice. Two tequila shots or lemon juice. Lemon I'll, juice will do. I don't I'll, drink. I'm in the AA, but don't tell anybody because they're not supposed to know. <laughs> you told people's cars. Oh, because ah, oh, AA, hey, hey, they're not supposed me? to know. I'm slow. Uh, Glenn, please, he wants to down lemon juice. I'm organized. Be horrible. Lemon juice. Listen, so I'm while you do that, I also one have a gift. Juice, one tequila. One lemon juice, one, one lemon juice, one tequila. I also have a gift for you. Thank um, you so much. I need to explain this gift. I'm giving Barry this gift and he will open it and see what's in it. Thank you. Because. Every time I meet Barry, I have to introduce myself to him. I'm like, this guy, we've done shows together, but then I'll bump into him say, in the mall, name? and then I'll greet him, and then he'll want to know my name. So I'm like, now I put my name on a Vaslab for him. I've put my name on a Vaslab for him Amy. so that you can think about me every Equine day. Ruti. Every day. So you'll rem Long if you don't remember my name, I'll know you're not bumping every day. To me, baby, I know. Ne? Thank you so much. Yeah. I just Del use that as a thing, as a ploy, just to... <laughs> Sort of keep you going. Thank you so much. Yeah, you go, Baz. Those are Thank for you. I don't know which serious? one. I'm dead serious. I don't What's know which one you want first. There you go. That's the one. Well done. Let's see you do this. Kill it. Congratulations. Yes. Bro. Hope you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you have a fantastic story about when your dad found out you wanted to go into the arts. Can you tell us about that? The way he stopped me. The way he reacted. <laughs> 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 he just said that. No, I should him. Uh, what's, I, well, I want to leave school, Dad. He said, okay, son, what would you like to do? Because you're my son. <laughs> I said, you know, Dad, I'd like to be an actor. And he said to me, son, I need to tell you, this is the worst drink I've ever eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, son, <laughs> I need to tell you that actors usually end up going to bed with other actors of the same sex okay but my father was a bricklayer so it wasn't quite like it he said hey, what are you a beep beep <laughs> and you still went into the arts though i know i my my father forced me to become an electrician that's part of the gig and then i started in the arts and i had to lie to get in yeah i um is that the story you wanted to hear really yeah i had to lie because you couldn't get a job when I was built on put Potros had just finished. Yeah. So I pretended I came from England. So I walked into this agent's office and I said, All right, Dad, well, I've just come here from England and I want a job. <laughs> he said, What do you do? I said, What do you think I'll do from Liverpool? I'm a comedian. <laughs> so he gave me a job. Nice. So that's true. And then I got this gag and I kept on doing because I'd been writing jokes since I was eight years old. Sure. So I could do four hours. So nice. I'm on the stage and I'm doing it. And every time he comes in, every time he comes in, he sees me going, talking like that. Brilliant, great. So then he calls me and he says, we want to give you an extension, no problem. So he says to me, um, we just got one small thing we need to sort out. And I thought, wow, I'm dead. Bro. He's found out I'm from South Africa. I'm dead. In the... I said to him, what's the problem? He said to me, I've heard that you can do a fantastic South African accent. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, it's funny you should say that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the truth. That's awesome. So, so you've taken you've taken it all the way from there, and you've gone through all the ranks, all the clubs, all the corporate yes. gigs, and now you've got this talk called Talk Funny. Yes. Uh, tell me a bit about that. What is it? Uh, you uh, take some helium. Yeah. <laughs> no. the talk Funny is what I, it's time for me to put stuff back. I've, I've been blessed that I've been working for 35 years and plus, and I'm still loving what I do, and yeah. I really do well. And I a lot of people, including Glenn come and say to me how do I do this how do I do that and I thought you know what why not teach it to people because we tell jokes as a professional but people out there who want to be funny who need to be funny and want to be leaders in their field they get listened to if they're funny ah. so I show them the basics of comedy I tell them my story how it works and then I show them how to do comedy I show them with examples 
and we get together and we have an absolute jaw and we get people from all walks of life who end up making jokes. Mm. So, so for, for people out there, Baz, if, who are looking to get into the industry, yes. what basics can you just quickly touch on to, to, for, for guys and well, girls who want to get into it? A lo lot of the guys, they try off when they try and do jokes that are far too complicated and too highfalutin and this and that. Keep it simple, man. Keep it simple. That's what it is. Right. Make a plan. Oh, wow. <laughs> so now we know our politicians aren't just making this stuff up. They've been going to this guy's classes. They've been going to Time for an ad break. We'll get more from Barry when we return. Welcome back to hashtag WTF to me. Please do keep in touch with us on the socials on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. The handle is at WTF to me. Make sure you use the hashtag, hashtag WTF to me. We are hanging out with Barry Hilton and it's about to get real personal. Barry. Barry, 1980. Let's take it all the way back. 1980. This is about a year before I was born. You pulled a, cam, a Kim Kardashian, hey? You pulled a Kim That's Kardashian in 1980. He didn't pose with his bum in the mirror. <laughs> it's a, had a, another kind of Kim Kardashian vibe. You got divorced and got married in the same year. No, that's... Yeah, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened? Like, did you... Well, the first... My first marriage, um, I was just... My parents told me to marry, but was, no pregnancy, nothing. No. The second marriage, my penis dictated that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I was saying walk away and he was going, no, 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 bro, let's have a talk yet. <laughs> oh, wow. I, like, what do you say to that? So your first marriage was arranged? No, well, sort of. Um, we were Catholics, or we still are Catholics or whatever. And uh, <laughs> I wanted to live with my then girlfriend. Oh, and so I they were saying my you... my father oh. I want to live with my girlfriend. And my father said to me, I thought you gay. <laughs> 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 you told me last week you gay. <laughs> now you want to live with a woman. Married, it was <laughs> ever. Also, it, you you needed to pump within the law of oh, the Bible, man, so that's why you had to get married. So you could. Force about it. Yes. When you're not gonna bring this house into disrespect and all that stuff. And then he got pissed on Fridays. <laughs> so I don't understand how that works. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, God bless him. He's, he's gone now. But yeah. it happens. I forgive you, Dad. I'm going to do what the football players do. What? Have you noticed what football players do? When they score, okay, yeah. they sort of go on the thing and they go like... <laughs> and then two minutes later, they tell the ref to F off. <laughs> Jeez. So, do you have any regrets, though? <coughs> do you have this any one regrets? big WTF thing? Yeah, that I uh, didn't think for myself until I got married the third time. The third time? Yes, I'm married to Sandy now for 11 years. Wait, so... Oh, wait. No, no, but I'm, wait, wait, wait. Okay. The first one, no, was get married, this girl. That wasn't you thinking for yourself. The second one, then the, the oh, Tondo was yeah. where was like, let's get that one. And then you went to that one. And then, and then I got divorced and I became a single mother. My, my uh, kids stayed with me. It was quite scary, actually, yeah. being a single mother. You know, I got periods and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> my kids would come into the room and I'd say, just... <laughs> <laughs> Not today, please. <laughs> Listen, Do you know that? It, it, it's getting intense, so I oh, think I we need that. to play a little game and see if any of the gooses have been sliding into his DMs. Let's play hashtag top three. Wait, uh, are they still are they called geese or gooses when they're hitting on you? That's uh, ask Gar uh, you Barry. Don't say that no, no, that is actually no, that's oh sexist. You can't gosh. say geese or goose. Do are you? Do you take it out of your set because you? you you've no, I don't because it's, it's my goose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I it's grew up with that set. All right, oh, let's okay. play. Let's play the All game. Right. You guys are getting carried away. So, so have you explained so it to Barry? I'm going. I'm about to. Can sorry. you stop? I'm sorry. You are oh, hoarding him. I'm nervous. He's I, ours. I'm, I'm sorry. We can have him. There's enough of him to go around. I know. I'm nervous. Plenty. So we're going <laughs> to play a game called uh, hashtag top three. 
<laughs> Stop it, Barry. If you look behind you, you'll see that on the screen, we have Instagram, Twitter, and a handbag. So we're going to spin the wheel. Wherever it lands, you are going to need to explain three things, either in your bag, in your Instagram DMs, or in your Twitter DMs. Let's spin the wheel. But it'll have to be Instagram. Let's spin the wheel, folks. Thank heavens for that. Oh, really? <laughs> Why? Is it good stuff in there? No, no, it's because I haven't got a Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have got it, but I don't know where yeah, it no, is. Give me your phone. I'm going to do it. For I'm going to get it Give for me you. your yeah. phone. I don't know where I'm very <laughs> compliant. Give Are you compliant? I know Let these things. Okay, Thank go. you. Wow, the first picture that pops up is a picture of me on his phone. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Aww. Stop it, Barry. Okay, you already have someone. Do you know how I started you. that, actually? How did you start that? I took a picture of an old lady. Mm. Okay, much older than me. And mm. I said, check here, guys. I'm on Instagram. Mm. No? Instagram. Instagram. Okay. Yeah, no. So, in your DMs, people are showing off that you are doing special things. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, somebody showing off that you're going to be on espresso. That's nice. There's no lady sliding you a little something, something in here. No, because I'm cool nowadays. It's pretty. Oh. Ooh, you were, whose wedding was this? Oh, there's a lady getting married at 4 p.m. Let me see. Were you, were you gigging at the wedding or were you crashing people's wedding? Can I tell you something? I was doing a gig in Queenstown. Yeah. And that lady got married that day and then she had a reception at my show. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is so cute, man. That was flipping cool. But it that was is beautiful. Weird, you know, they kept on, every time I was telling a joke, the best man got up and said, excuse me, I'm doing a speech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but wow. They, they came, the whole wedding party came to the show. Go and, figure. And somebody missed you as well. Farah, Fa, Faran Esad. Isn't that a comedian? Yes, that's yes. a comedian. He's a, he's a lovely young comedian. Yeah. Well, as we can see, he's a very good boy on Instagram. Glenn, what's your Take Me Back Tuesday today? Right, uh, I wish I didn't have to announce this, but the Take Me Back Tuesday today is that disky dance from the Soccer World Cup in 2010. I, I really just roll the thing. It's, it's honestly embarrassing. Can I say something? Well done, Tombs. A Take Me Back Tuesday for the older generation is when a guy gets drunk on a Friday, his wife throws him out for the weekend, <laughs> and he comes back on Monday and says, take me back tomorrow, man. I'm a good out now, man. <laughs> That's really amazing. Good. I honestly, I have no words for that disky dance to me. I, I um, disky dance, can you believe it? I no. don't think they had any choreography. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. They just said, listen, go there and just make it up. <laughs> stick your bum out and so we'll call that twerking. Just do that. Yeah, I feel like the disky dance is the reason we didn't win the World Cup, to yep. be honest. Um, the, re the reason we didn't win the World Cup is because the South African football team got home before their Instagrams. <laughs> Wow. Well, I think we're so World, we're so world Cup drunk and that dance just uh, okay. horrible. Anyway, the, we're at the dance. No, at the f <laughs> opening. <laughs> I was at the opening ceremony. Did, did I was convinced that we were going to take the World Cup, South Africa. I was convinced. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought to myself, even if we didn't win it, somebody was going to take it. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been a logical wow. thing to do in South Africa. Wow. Okay, so we're still enjoying the Godfather of Comedy. There's no Tate on ons volgende gas ontmoet. Hij is a comedian, actor, die baie snaks, baie plezierig, skalk besedenhout. Be gentle. There we go. And grab a chair. Can I say how to bury a while the world spins? Fantastic. You've just got curly hair. Hello, Glenn. I'm not his father. Just get that out. I'm not his father. <laughs> sit down, sit okay. down. I love that, that, that very presidential response, eh? He's not my son. <laughs> um. <laughs> very Jacob-like. Uh -huh. This sounds like a, a tap in my first flat. <laughs> What, what Skulk drinking? Well, so Skulk's obviously very into his jerseys, but I wanted to make him something that's going to make him very warm on the inside. So this is called the Skulk Bazaar and Hot. 
Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Game. Hi, nice to see you too. Hi. Thanks to you. Hi, Evans. We haven't gone for that long. I know. I know. It's a good job my father didn't see these two. Glenn invites me for lunch. I think every week. Oh, and then it never happens. No, it is going to happen. Strip down. Stop on strip down. Stop on strip down. Dip it. What Damn does that it. mean? Okay, so you got to ah. put your, you got to take. Uh, one, you remember when you were face. when you were five, and you had these games where you have to put your. Remember it like last year. Yes. <laughs> so be, be careful, eh? If you put your hair in it, it's gonna go curly. <laughs> <laughs> it already, so, so you need to know. get an apple okay. out of there. If you don't, Without you're gonna have to hat. play down a shooter. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you have 30 seconds, starting, starting now. now. Right. Okay. Don't wet your snore. Ah. Oh wow, Look at his that's mouth right in that there. Oh, okay, he's in there. That is, oh, well oh, done. Yeah. oh, well done. <laughs> My hero! Oh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> well I love done. you. There you go. That's his Granny Smith, by the way. Oh wow. Ah. <laughs> you look good. so cute. Thank you. Listen, well, done. Oh, well done. I quickly I quickly have a question. Yes. I know you and Glenn are friends. Yes, we I are. I need you to explain the picture to me though. Can you guys please put up the picture? I think I know which one. Oh no. I hope it's not. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. I that mean, was, I mean, I yeah. mean the, the caption there should be, what do you mean we've got today zero? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I remember. You remember it very well, Glenn, don't, I, don't I remember, <laughs> remember exactly what that, Glenn loves uh, what he calls his Tolly. <laughs> I'm Afrikaans and even I'm like disgusted by the word Tolly. Glenn loves it. But no, Tolly's a fantastic word. Okay. It is a I great word. I hate it, I can't. Wha wha <laughs> wait, while they decide what happened there, I think as a country we need a break after what we've just seen. We'll be no, back right after this. We didn't even explain it. What actually, I remember the first one. But I can't We're back. This is hashtag WTF Tommy. Yo, and we're hanging out with Barry Hilton and Skulk Poseidon Hood. Um, Skulky. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you're doing a one-man show because you want to shine by yourself with your jerseys. What? Yes, you? I've got a new Afrikaans one-man show, Snorshian. Snorshian. Snor. Sian. Yes. Ek verstaan. And uh, I just, I just. <laughs> da Snorshian. There it is. Yeah, no. I just did like the Atterbury Theatre. I'm doing like festivals. So if you understand Afrikaans coming to a Dorpi near you. Okay. And um, I need to write an English, <laughs> new English one man show. So. Yes. And for those of us who are a little bit cack at Afrikaans, uh, we're going to play a little game so you can see how funny Skalk Besede Note is because he's a killer at doing impressions. So we've got a few challenges. Yes, oh don't no. we, Glenn? No. If you look on the screen, we want you to impersonate the following. The first person we want you to impersonate is Glenn Biederman Pam. Oh my word, this Give us the Glenn, best yeah. Glenn Biederman Pam. This is, this, is, this is Glenn. Like, I don't know, you should have seen Glenn in his early career, but it was, there was a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of this. And he's walking like a, what the fuck is it? A camel horse. A camel pad. Like, we, still, oh. we still see that. We still see that. Next. <laughs> I don't do that. Celeste and Tuli, give us oh, your wow. best Celeste and Tuli impression. Um, I'm going to stay away from that. <laughs> because, <laughs> because he doesn't there's, have a dress. There's, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of um, <laughs> racial, uh, what can I call it, scandals in the media lately. Oh. And, people and you and me in the same room always ends up in... Yes, no. I've can can I ask, oh, Tuli, please can you do Celeste? Someone's I can't do, do Celeste. Please, just try. No, I can't At least, I, I beg you, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Celeste and Tuli. You can't come here with a code 8. <laughs> this Funiko <for> 10. <laughs> I'm not going to have sex. I won't have sex. No, I'm not going to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> not, no. And the last one, please do your best mark lottering. We've seen him do mark lottering. You want to see your best mark lottering. Okay, will you also do mark? I did mark last You did mark last I mean, night. I didn't do last. Stop discussing. <laughs> do. He, mark, but there's a lot of repeating. Okay. So you and there's a lot of waving. <laughs> so you go. So so you after you after <laughs> home affairs. Home affairs. <laughs> you there. It's home affairs. Home affairs. Then you there. <laughs> and it's home affairs. God brought you there <laughs> to home affairs. <laughs> and the last Eventually one. Eventually you're like, we add home affairs. We add home the affairs. The last yeah. one I want from Glenn actually. I 
Okay, I want the last one to come. Oh, do we have one? <gasps> no, wow, no, we're not wow. going to do me. Uh, that's okay, rude. That's my show. Then right, come. <sighs> oh, okay, fine. Skull, do me. Skull? I can't. I can't. I'm saying. Barry? I'm, okay, he's, Glenn. He's grown me. in the last half hour. <laughs> 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 so no one has the guts. Bless No, you your know what heart. you do? I, I can do. Oh, when do you me? say, look, you talk. Like in Vanak, you go, and that won't happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boy. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's oh evil effort. Uh, oh um, Glenn, give us the best Barry Hilton impersonation you've got. Oh, goodness. My cousins. Okay. <laughs> I smoke. <laughs> 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 the other day I went to the shops. Okay. I bought dacha. <laughs> <laughs> Not any kind of dacha. <laughs> it was the best dacha in the world. <laughs> I'm telling you now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's That's play good, a man. game that I'm very proud of because right. Barry Hilton invented this game. Yeah! Please, yeah. let's play Smart Ask. Right. Okay, so how this game works, guys. Okay, this is Barry Hilton's game. It's called Smart Ask right here. Skulk, uh, we're going to play it with everyone. How it works is, Baz, would you like to just... Explain it so we can jump I've in because it's quicker. I've got six categories. Yeah. Six categories. There's 54 cards, nine cards in each category. You ask questions on the card. The six, there's six questions on the card. Right. And the dealer chooses the question, but the answers are in threes. Okay. So that's okay. what makes it difficult. So, so, so I, I would say in historiography right now, th name me three British Prime Ministers, past and present. Okay. Tony Blair. Margaret Thatcher oh and um, uh, Theresa May. Yes. Okay. Well so but you no win. one would but win. Okay. You know one to win because you've got to get three. I okay. So that we go to Skulk. Okay. okay. We're supposed to go that way. We'll go that way. Okay. okay cool. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Skulk. Okay, so it's in English. Do you mind? No. Okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> And okay. Thank you for, uh, thank you for clicking first. And so okay. that's also in historiography. Okay, okay so um, name for me three uh, places in the Kruger Park. Uh, the entrance, Tasha. the exit, and the tuck shop. <laughs> <laughs> that we were, okay, he one to Barry. Give, okay. I give it to him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, just, just change it very, very... Okay. 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 This is sport. Yeah. Uh, Name three PSL soccer teams. Okay, M Sundowns, Chiefs, and Pirates. There we okay. go. Glenn good. gets it. Okay, okay great. so it's your turn now. Okay, good. Okay. So one good. one, eh? Okay. One, one. one one one. One okay. one. Okay. Entertainment. This game for me not okay. to win. Okay. 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 This is now uh, entertainment. All right. Name three uh, songs from the nineties. Can't touch this. Uh, vanilla Ice. Ah! Baby, time. baby, hit me, baby, one more time. Yeah. Okay, so, none of you win there. Okay, so we, we've got to, the person who gets yes. three, it gets a point. And all you do is go around until one person gets, gets three. three points. Oh. Yeah. And I've got this game because I've organized it that it lasts less than three minutes. Okay. Because I've got ADHD, and quite frankly, I'm bored talking about this as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> just go to the shop and get Give your smart ass. One more, one more. One, one more, one more. One more. Okay, okay, let's just pick one up here. It'll do a sport one for you. But okay. Okay, name me three. South African cricket stadiums. Oh, Wanderers, Newlands, and uh, Super Sport Park. I was the, gonna. Oh, there we man, go. So you got it. So he's that's almost not what? Not all three and that's, that's, that's his cricket impression, by the way. <laughs> yeah. the like to swing on. That's his cricket impression. That's called silly mid on, or are you mull? <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically the game. Great, you just play it. it into. Now I'm not saying. I'm not saying at all. You could actually use this as a drinking game. I wouldn't say that. But. But however, if you tend to sort of skew the rules. rules that way, you could possibly drink with it. Hmm. Right. I, 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 I really need a break, guys. Um, this is the most rainbow my life has ever been. I'm outnumbered. I'm not used to being the minority. So please, let's take an ad break. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, to Welcome back. This is hashtag WTF to me. Here is hashtag WTF to me. How's my African scalp? Thank you. Thanks for all the tweets. Let's see who's watching the show tonight. 
Tokozani at Shoba Fetu says, LOL, that's what happens when you think with your umkonto wesizo instead of your brain. <laughs> it was your umtonto wesizo, but yes, thank you. Oh, your Next. <laughs> uh, at Barry, oh, this is from Tabo Simon Butukwani Tau. Hey, that's a long sitting. Ari, at Barry Hilton, second marriage was dictated by what? Hashtag <laughs> WTF to me tonight's episode. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for enjoying, Baba. And Dumesh says, hashtag WTF to me, fire. We need to unsee this at to me more. Yeah, I agree. It must be about that disky situation. It was deep, deeper than hip hop, in fact. In the spirit of Youth Month, we've got two trailblazers who are doctors and are making moves socially. Please help me welcome doctors Sivu Madikana and Fezilem Kize. <laughs> Grab a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. The cool thing is, I've already seen uh, one of the doctor's six packs. You're welcome, <laughs> ladies. That's yours. Um, oh, no. um, oh, yeah. Are you going to pretend you didn't? That's half a dress. Um, anyway, lovely to meet you. See if I'd never meet you before. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you doing? Do you I'm mean? lovely. It's lovely to meet you. Love your suit. Love your just the. Yeah, well, not directly off the runway. Hey, oh, <laughs> well. Because he's so humble. <laughs> and <laughs> um, but Fez, yeah. you talk to us about this thing of, of, of you being on the presenter search on SABC3, but you're also a practicing medical doctor. What's up with that? It, it seems a bit incongruent when you kind of say it like that. Incongruent. Incongruency. <laughs> yeah, it's in guess. Um, but in actual fact, I think it's just an extension of what I try to do with medicine. Yes. Um, it's always engaging people. It's always trying to get their story and help them as best as I can. And I think with this kind of a platform, um, I'm able to reach a, a greater scope of people and to disseminate the information that I already know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's I can see all the women at home throwing the apples away, because <laughs> they do say an apple a day keeps a doctor away and you want to keep them right here. Ne? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I've got two of these. And what, is it, what happens? Sorry, I'll put it away. Um, but real. let's find out from the well suited Dr. Sive. Um, <laughs> what is your plan with, because you're an influencer as well, you're an influencer, you're a doctor. What is happening? What is changing in the field that we're finding a lot of young doctors are now influencers and getting interested in the entertainment industry? Look, I think people are mostly just following their dreams and what they want. I always say that, um, you know, you must live a full life. Yeah. We've always been taught that you can only do one thing. I mean, mm. if you're a doctor, mm. you can only be a doctor. Mm -hmm. If you're an accountant, you must only be an accountant. Mm. Um, and so I, I think it's more, the world is changing. We becoming more, um, I suppose, affluent and we know what we want uh, and the opportunities are there. So I'm always like, just chase your dreams, yeah. whatever you want to do. Speaking of chasing dreams, let's talk about this award. Oh, hey. Hey. Yes. <laughs> so that was um, the Titanium Award for um, the Young Achiever, or Top Young Achiever in the country, which was given to me by the Board of Healthcare Funders of Southern Africa. Wow. And how did that feel? I mean, were you like, I've just started, guys. <laughs> and this is... <laughs> no, it, it felt really great to kind of have um, people and colleagues that that you look up to recognize you to say that you're making a difference you're doing a lot of things so i do a lot of work when it comes to hiv and using my social platforms to kind of increase awareness around hiv and also other health topics so um it just means the future of south africa's health is in this good hands sure um you you're a surgeon right or are you going into surgery uh, a, a surgeon an aspirin an aspiring, aspiring surgeon, surgeon. That's one yeah okay but yeah. wait I'm sorry, this is distracting, so I do have to ask, and this can be answered by both of you. Because uh, now people recognize you from TV and they get excited when they meet famous people. How can you tell the difference between an irregular heartbeat and someone who's just excited <laughs> that you're touching them wow. in a private room wow. by themselves? Can I, can I lobby that one to my, <laughs> um, uh, geez, my uh, experience? I haven't used a stethoscope in a while. Oh, eh? oh. oh he's, yes. a, he's in the oh, suit. He's in the suit. I'm still on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, I think it's it's a bit of an overplayed thing. Generally, people, if they do recognize you, after about two minutes, get over it, and they're like, oh, okay, actually, you look like this in real life. 
No, like everything's perfectly normal. No, you're lying. They only get no, you. they only get used to it because they go, "You're gonna cut me where?" <laughs> 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 and then they get over this, that the sexiness. Also, that also, All right. That well, we're gonna play a game. We can't waste this. I mean. Yeah. No, I think we should. Uh, we're going to play a game called Pictionary. Are you guys aware of that? Yes, but mm -hmm, I want to mm -hmm. tell you every 15 minutes I'm going to build you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how this works is uh, there's going to be a, a word on the screen here. We're going to split it up. Tumi and I won't play. It'll be doctors versus comedians, okay? <laughs> right, okay. There's going to be a word on the screen. The person who is drawing has to draw the word. The person who is guessing will stand here and guess the word. You have 30 seconds to draw and guess the word. You're not allowed to talk if you're drawing. Fez, Got you it. can draw first. You can okay, go up doctors, there. Okay, doctors, I'm going to yeah. just get you guys to set the example because I think they're still learning. So they're I getting there. Yeah. Standing so right here. Can't look back. Grab a pen. Ready? Okay, cool. Your 30 seconds starts now come on give it to you give it to you okay um what is that um no 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 miming only drawing i don't know I'm done. open <laughs> open up you open up for camera there this mouth that goes <laughs> no talking a drink <laughs> but but could be wine <laughs> what what is this <laughs> Let me put a label on okay. it. Um, okay. Four. Panado. Three. <laughs> <laughs> two. A okay. medicine bottle. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. You'll get another round. You'll get another round. Okay, Don't think on, about that what you have done. That is not pretty good, bruh. Oh, Your bottle is terrible. Oh, oh, I'll draw. I'll draw. Okay. Skulk next. Okay. Ready? Next one. Just here, Beth. Shall I stand like here? Like their handwriting. They're drawing. Okay. Ready? Okay. Can I just three. Wait a second. Okay. Look at the word. Look at the word in the meantime. Go. Okay. Three. Two, one, and action. It's okay, let curly Baz headed man. <laughs> let Baz see there. No. What? It it's, it's a wave at the beach. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's. What is that? Skulk was I don't know, and he's one of his really bad jerseys. Yes. yes! Okay. <laughs> Hold it. One to comedians. <laughs> not to doctors. Next. Doctors, let's swap around. Well done. Very it. good, very, very good. Got this. I found out that nice. was an easy one, though. Thanks, Tim. It's not rubbing off. <laughs> okay, okay, go for it. Go for it. Three, Make a plan. Two, one, and oh, 30 gosh. seconds um, starts now. Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. hammer. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, very fast. What is that? Um, um, asthma attack, yeah, almost, yeah, yeah. almost, As asthma almost. attack, asthma pump, asthma yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Baz, uh, you're up, you're up, I'm you're up. up. Okay, 2-1, they have to, if they get this, they clinch it and the doctors take a shot. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. Very aggressive, <laughs> Very aggressive asthma pump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. Okay, go. The shots are here. Uh, why do I hear, uh... Chocolate. <laughs> uh, a pain. Pencil. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Pain. No helping. <laughs> a penis. <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a sharp pen. <laughs> PA. What is a, 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 a marker? Oh, Cocky pen. Almost. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a tiebreaker. We're gonna have to have a tiebreaker. It was a crayon. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. It's one off. Sorry. We're gonna have to have two more rounds. Okay, guys. Doctors, choose your best drawer. Choose your best guesser. Quickly. Okay. The shot. Okay. The shots are here. I've got them for the losing team. Okay. And ready and action. Okay. Um, patient, patient with a <laughs> pregnant, pregnant, um, a big tummy, obese, um, big bum. Yeah, 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 big yeah big okay, bum. just like, yeah. 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 yeah, okay, okay, yeah. comedian. <laughs> oh, so yeah. all of a sudden the doctors are in the lead. If <laughs> is the it, pregnancy is sitting that low, why are you behind the guy? <laughs> this is my best lesson to Liam Percy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Last one. All Comedians, right. they have to bring this back to draw it. Oh, yes, baby. Okay, and action. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to draw it on there, here. Drop there, drop there. So cancel that. No, don't. You can't speak. 
I can't see, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sperm count. <laughs> <laughs> Womb. Moon bag. Pouch. Purse. Uh, oh. Packet. Packet. <laughs> um, oh, my God. I can't God. draw this. No, wait. Don't look at that. <laughs> no, I thought that was going to be some oddle story. <laughs> Time's yes. up. The comedians what, 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 have it? lost. It was a speedo. The comedians have lost. It was a speedo. speedo. I don't <laughs> think he's seen one in many years. <laughs> We're going to go for an ad break. <laughs> what is that one? have a fever I might need a doctor <laughs> but welcome back to hashtag WTF to me please share your thoughts on th on the show using the hashtag hashtag WTF to me doctor stop it uh, <laughs> Glenn please bring out Spiso Kanyele ladies and gentlemen please welcome to the show none other than Kanisa Kanisa <laughs> Spiso Kanyele hello sir I'm so sorry about that no problem, no problem. I was thinking we're about, learning we're learning I was thinking about my sidekick on the other show Kanisa okay. Bunu Kanisa. Kanisa Bunu, are you familiar with her? No, no, no. She's a very no. good comedian, you should. see. <laughs> so, so you got a show coming up at yes. the Apartheid Museum mm -hmm. on the 6th of July. 6th of July, Apartheid Museum, what, yes. What's happening? It's uh, the 6th Sifiso Kanile live experience. Uh, we've been doing this for six years now. And it's at the Apartheid Museum on the 6th of July. Tickets are at CompuTicket, 200 rands. 200 is not bad. Yeah, How long do you play bad. for? Are you the only act there? Uh, it's uh, a two hour show. That's it's a, a long two hour show. So I go on, I run just for two hours, no breaks, and then, yeah. No, that's fine. Skulk Pesadino does shows for one rand. I don't know if you're aware, <laughs> but he does. He has done it before, but I won't judge you for that. 200 is fine. Yeah. But now, uh, why, why did you choose that venue, the Apartheid Museum? The Apartheid it Museum, it's the architecture, it's the mood, it's the feel of the venue. I went there when we were preparing for a show that went to Switzerland a long time ago, and I was just taken by its, uh, its architecture. You know, and later my friend reminded me of uh, the theater that is in there. And then I went there, I just fell in love with the space. Amazing. I'm looking it's a beautiful space. Yeah. I, I, well, a I'm looking space. forward to hearing how it oh. goes. Uh, I want to ask, are there any albums coming up? that you? Yes, I'm working on a live album now. Uh, it's an album I recorded a year ago. It's coming out end of July. End of July, yes. what's it called? It's a Fiso Kanyele live at the Joe Beck Theater. Simple, yeah, simple bro. stuff. To yes, me, over stuff. to you, please. Well, a big thank you to our guests, Barry Halton, Skalk Besaden, Hurt Fezilem Kiza, and Sivu Madikana. Ice Prince joins us next week, Monday. Ooh, catching Dumi Solindi just now on Trending SA. To close off the show, yes, Fiso Kanyile, myself and Glenn are black next week, Monday. In 
Lizweni yamingi ya kulanga zelela Ukubona na na we futi Lizweni yamingi ya kulanga zelela Ukubona na na we futi Au yebo kiyo chagula I'm <laughs> Take it, 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 take it,